XTCG Kingdom here, bringing you my Will She Bring Us Honor and Amber Ruby Mulan Song Control deck that primarily deals with controlling the board. And we are going to show off the first card, which is the, the Li Shang. It's our first one drop of the deck. He is our 2-2, uh, two, two, press for one. He can definitely shift into a uh, Li Shang uh, if you wish to uh, later game. Uh, we are doing the uh, four copies of Mulan, the 2-3 that's hurt. Uh, when she comes into play, you're going to be using that with the Rapunzel to heal and get more draw cards off. We're not going to be using too many of this card, but we are using the Training Grass to power boost up some of our characters so that we can actually deal with the onslaught of uh, like power boosting uh, and characters that we can't get through for resist or anything like that because the training grounds uh, doesn't read as it's once per turn so you, as long as you have the ink you can keep pumping up some one character over and over again as long as they are at the location so we don't want to focus on that one too much we have a couple copies of that we're using two copies of the fa Gio, and that's the father of mulan he has another special ability where he can't attack into anything at all because he is hurt and it's very on theme for the the movie uh his ability though lets him uh, exert himself to ready up any of your mulan characters so once you have a uh, shifted mulan the archer one uh, you can have her power boost and she still survives her attack you can actually have her uh unexert her again with the fa mulan or the fa jo and then you can actually have her go uh, attack again and then make use of her ability we then have the Mulan, the 1-3 that that's power boosted for uh, by 2 for every uh, action you play, which all the songs are actions, so why not? That is an awesome including here. And another target for you to shift on to the two Floodborne so that you're going to have in the deck for Mulan. The next card is Painting the Roses Red. You do want another kind of draw engine, and you do want to power like reduction on some characters so that you can make use of some of uh, the attack, attacking uh, portions of, of the deck. Uh, this also draws you a card too, which is great. You want to use Bear Necessary, Necessities, I'm sorry, Bear Necessities. <laughs> uh, and that Bear Necessities will help you uh, control the hand. We'll make sure that if you're playing against a certain decks that have a lot of items, get rid of those items, get rid of anything that you deem that you don't want to see and not worthy to be in their someone's hand. Uh, next up would be the, the Ariel for our first three cost character, and she is going to be the one that gets us any song that we want. We can set up our plays, get any specific songs to help control the board, and that's great. Uh, we do want to use that in comparison next, besides the other uh, Mulan that gives you support, uh, and she will be a key character that will be in the deck that will be used to again uh, power boost more characters up and then give you more of a edge against uh, some of the decks that have uh, characters with higher uh, resist or higher uh, life uh, or keeping them around uh, we did miss uh, Li Shang there the floodborne version of of him you can discard a character and just have him like come out on like right away uh, it doesn't have to be on at least on turn one and he'll help boost up any character that has a four uh strength or higher with and give him a give those characters all lore uh an extra lore which is great because with the uh with the leash the mulan that we were just talked about you can actually power boost uh, people into that that cost range and then give them more lore or attack it's your choice uh, we do use two copies of part of your world that part of your world will have the uh have the ability to, to bring back any character from your grave back to your hand that you want back that you want back and it is a song so that's a good thing to do to play uh for the deck we are now uh, going to be using three copies of Sisu, the one that actually power boosts itself off of every card in your opponent's hand. So if your opponent is far ahead of you in hand size, that can definitely work against them because now you would have a, a character that can deal with anything on board and it's still a good quester for, with two lore on it. 
Uh, we do next have our uh, first four cost, uh, which of the deck, which is Bee King Undisputed. The Bee King Undisputed is just like a Lady Tremaine, just come out, comes out faster and can be sung with Ariel and with other characters in the deck. Uh, this is a great card to get spot removal off. And we are now going to move on to the next star of the deck and the major reason why we made this deck. And that is the Mulan uh, singing card here, which is a 3-3. And what she can do is she can actually uh, quest and then reveal the top card of your deck. If it's a song, I can play it, no matter the cost. All these sing together cards, all the, the biggest cards possible for uh, singing that you would have to do, you can play them all for free with her which is great. She also doesn't have to pay any cost for it. And if you don't get a song, you just put it back on top of your deck. And so that way you know what you're getting up next. Uh, that is an awesome ability. And I do like that she gives the shift too, so she can come out really quickly. Uh, it's hard to say if you should always uh, shift with her or should you hard play with them. With her, it's, it's hit or miss with that one. Uh, the next one we are going to be talking about is the Rush Mulan for playing. Uh, and that's the 4-3 uh, that has one lore. Uh, it's a way with, to deal with boards and a way to deal with uh, other characters if you need another uh, way to to do some more board control. She also can sing a, quite a few of the songs in the deck too in that four base, uh, that four base cost, which is great. We are now going to show, tell you about the uh, Look at this family. It's our first, some of our seven costs uh, that can be played for free. We almost never want to sing this one. Uh, maybe play it when we have enough ink, but we're constantly trying to use it for uh, off for free from the uh, Mulan singer there. And we are not looking for too much with it except for her to sing the song for free. Uh, it's a good inkable card. If you do get it in your hand, no, no questions asked. I would definitely ink that. Uh, then we have our Rapunzel for our other four drop. She will be there to help heal up all your Milans, uh, all your other characters, get some more draw. So you use another portion of the draw engine in your deck. We don't really want to uh, use her too too soon. If you do get multiple copies of her in your hand, I do recommend like moving it uh, back to the deck and moving it away. Keep one, don't need all of it. Your, Next card we have here is a Pirate's Life. It's our two, we're only using it at two just because we want to sing it sometimes and only see it sometimes. Uh, but it does do something really interesting where you can take two lore from your opponent and, and give them to yourself, which is uh, sometimes a detrimental thing to, to happen to somebody when they're on the verge of winning and then they automatically start losing two lore. That's a really, really fun way to, to deal with opponents uh, like lore game we are now moving on to the mulan the main other star of the deck the one that lets you shift and what this one will do is when you shoot shift on top of a mulan you get a plus three on her attack and then if she does damage to a character and kills them you can do that much damage to another two characters on the field so you can essentially do if you're attacking into like a one cost character and then you do five damage to that one cost character, you can still do five damage to every other character that you select for her ability. Uh, it doesn't matter which one. Uh, your next, or our last card of the deck is the Be Prepared. Are not gonna play more than just two copies of it just because it is a, a board wipe and we don't need to sing that one too often for free. Uh, and we don't wanna see it too often. Uh, it's just more of a, a cool niche thing to play there and we are going to now start with our... so now we're going to move on to the other card options that you can use in your deck uh we're going to start off with khan the beloved steed he's probably our first one that you can use if you need to stay on theme and you want some more of a power boost you can definitely use uh him for a three two it's really great for attacking you do want to use the uh the card as much as you can to deal with boards uh, the next one would be uh, Lanier. Uh, he actually gives all your characters plus one attack, and he is a 2-2-2, two, 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 which is also good for your uh, for your lineup. And it's something that you can use to deal with the boards more easily if you want to use something in that range. I do recommend them too. Uh, the next one is Medallions, um, or Medallion Weights. The option on it to tap down for two uh, to ink and give a chosen character plus two during the turn is great. But whenever they challenge this character, you can draw 
whenever this character challenge, you can draw a card, which is really awesome for uh, a draw engine for the deck and highly recommended for it. Uh, some other options that you can definitely use are the Mulan from set one, which gives all your other characters a plus one more when she does damage. But she takes a little bit of uh, work to get out and set up properly, so I don't really want to use that one too often, but to keep on theme is definitely something that you can use uh, to keep things in motion there. Uh, another song that you can use is Lost in the Woods, where you give all opposing characters minus two until the end of their next turn, and that gives uh, you some more control and makes your character stay around a lot easier. And I do highly recommend that one. The Sleepy's Flute is another really big one I would recommend too. Uh, you can try using this because you are playing a lot of songs and you are you can do, get a lot of lore gain from the Sleepy's Flute. Uh, Sleepy's Flute there. Uh, all you gotta do is tap it, and if you played a song this turn, and get some free lore, which is awesome. You don't have to worry about anything there. Uh, I do recommend these cards uh, if you want to change up the build. They are good ways of of augmenting your control and your uh and your, your lore game but i do recommend staying with what i have uh, it has been tested a while for a while and uh it is one of the big things that i would recommend for the deck and we are going to uh, be doing more options now with that now let's take a look at some gameplay shall we we are going to show it off in a new program that's not pixel born because we are trying to get, move away from it we're using something called inked uh uh ink deck or something like that it's something ink uh, it's a website based browser based game where you can actually test against ai uh but it doesn't want you to test against people so you can build your own decks in the and then have it face your own, you can face your own decks and see how well they work on both ends. This is just showing you some of the, the turn ones and some of the basic gameplay of of the games here. We are just trying to uh, get a, a good board presence against this deck that we're playing against. We got our two one drops that we can play on turn one and turn two. We are getting ready for some shifting targets. Uh, we are putting some ink down and then we are just hard dropping the Li Shang Floodborne. We are going to start attacking the Bell's House Arta, that, were, that was put down the turn before because we don't want their opponent to start using that. They get the uh, free lore from the song there and get rid of our King King Undisputed. We are going to now drop our Mulan, the singer one. This is again just a game to show you how some of the deck interactions can work. Uh, it's not, no, no means a, way, a good way of showing you uh, real life actions, but it does show you how the deck can play. This is probably the only thing that we can use now instead of using it in real life uh, to play some games. This uh, field here, now that you see it, is getting out of control. I did use the ability of my Mulan to, to top deck a, uh, a Bare Necessities, look at my opponent's hand, discard a card, and then I just started to ink. Uh, I decided to not ink anything and just quest for the turn. My opponent drops the uh, Mega Aerial that's going to do a lot of lore gain in this turn. I do sing another song and get another Bare Necessities and then try, look at the deck, uh, look at the top of their hand, and grab a card from it. I am now, I just played a uh, Me King Undisputed, so I got rid of the Aerial without having to target it, which she can't be targeted with, with the Lord. So now I just start questing with all the things I got. I check the top of the deck, it's not a song, so the card goes right back where it goes. I, I just end up doing my other Bare, necess bare Necessities and get rid of their, another card from their hand, and I start questing from here. Uh, at this point, the opponent has no way of catching up. They drop all their aerials and start trying to get some of the board, and I'm okay with that. They don't need to do much, and I just go to ink. I started uh, turn my character sideways and win. So we're moving on to our next game. We're gonna sh just get rid of all the, uh, the characters that we don't need right away. We don't need any songs in the hand because we're trying to aim to play them for free. We're keeping the Rapunzel, uh, and we are gonna start with uh, a one pass guard down into the ink and we don't have any one cost to play. We are dropping in now a two cost card. We're gonna play some bare necessities, check their hand out, rip a card out of their hand, let's get rid of that Mott and Dewey. And we are going to just pass turn, let them go, and then they, they do their questing. We drop a extra copy of the of, of the Mulan singer, and we put you know, a Sisu. Their opponent's hand is at four, so she's a five attacker. So able to deal with a lot of things. I'm going to get rid of the mini and do my damage to myself. Uh, when people see this card, they always tend to drop their hand as much as they can, which is I'm okay with. Uh, I'm going to just heal up for the one draw before she uh, inevitably gets killed by the 
by the other character. Uh, I made it. I made it so that it, that the webby is not going to be useful against the, the Sisu because she could have went into it for the the three damage. But I did some healing, dropped uh, my Mulan Singer, uh, played a a song that reduces both attacks, so we can draw off, and then killed the webby off. I using that with the Sisu Sisu to uh, take control of the board. They drop a lot of cards from their hand and make the Sisu weaker, and then they attack into it and get kill it. We are now going to do another saw uh, play to see if we can get one off the top of the deck. We do not. And we just ink another card and then play a uh, Ulan that gives us a support. Our right, pass our turn, go to our opponent. They're going to drop another Maui, and there is a Maui and a uh, Hey Hey on the field, so this is going to be very rough for me. Uh, I'm going to quest to see if I get anything off the top of family, the deck. I do get the uh, Lee family card there, like, and I get two characters to my hand. I chose two Lee Shags, and I am going to now shift over top of my other Mulan, and then I'm going to take out the Hey Hey, because I can't, and I'm going to get rid of the evasive character and the other, uh, the other copy of the Maui. But then Maui is going to get rid of my singer at the cost of himself. I don't mind that. I can have my Rapunzel to heal my Mulan, get two more draws off. And I am going to now play a Fa Faju so that I can double attack with my Mulan. I check the hand to see if they have anything in there. There's nothing in there for me to get rid of with the bare necessities. And I move on to my opponent. Let my opponent go. They drop everything from their hand and an attempt to try to flood the board for me. I decide that I'm just going to sing. Not even the same, just play the, uh, the Welcome to the Family song so I can get two more draws off. Ink another card and then play the two cost Mulan. And then I am going to use a special thing here with my uh, Mulan where I attack into the into the gyro uh, and kill the and, and kill the uh, coconut guy for his name. Um, but then I can use my uh, I could have used my my fa, fa Mulan to our Faja to to uh, re-stand my Mulan and kill the Gyro, but I forgot all about that that play in this game here. I dropped another uh, Fa Mulan, and then I killed one of the characters, killing all his field. And then I am going to use my Fa Mulan to ready her up so she doesn't get damaged by any kind of Maui, uh, and then quest for everything I have here where I am now going to just pass a turn for my opponent. They are so far behind, they can't really do much. And at this point, I am just going to uh, quest with everything I have, and then I could win from here. This is the gameplay of some of the deck that I do recommend using. Uh, I do like this deck, and if you do want to see more of my new videos here that show you how to play theme decks, please like and subscribe, like I said at the beginning of the video. And we'll see you soon. Bye.